Hi, it's Zena, Warthog Princess. Let's talk about travel toiletries for a moment because I'm in a transition phase potentially for which bags and accessories I might try to use going forward. But I'll just kind of share where I'm at, what I've been using, what I've just discovered, et cetera, et cetera. And we'll just kind of go where it takes us. So the first thing is the toiletry bag that I've been using for I don't know, as long as I can remember now, like 10, 15 years, is this big one. And it's pretty pretty all-inclusive, and I pack it and repack it. It's been through the washer, everything. But it's from Tatanka, which I believe is a German company, actually. And I don't even remember where I got it. It was so, so long ago. But I did used to live in Germany, so early 2000s could have been when I got it, because it's been that long since I've had it. But anyway... So let me show you what I'm, what's in my bag, and um, we'll go from there. So this bag, it holds a lot, and like I said, I pack it differently for different trips, but this goes on for sure all the long trips, and it can hold full-size toiletries, it can hold a whole lot of little things. Um, sometimes I put some medicines in there, sometimes I put um, other things in there, but it's always a toiletry bag. So. First, let's talk about the bag. It has a nice handle on the end, so when you're just walking around, you can carry it like that. It doesn't have any pockets on the back. If I was to improve this, which I probably have, I did look online, but couldn't find anything close to this. Um, but I would put a bag on the, a little pocket on the back, of even just a thin slip zip something. There is a zipper pocket on this side, and it doesn't have a lot of depth to it, but it's plenty big to hold things. Like I used to keep my travel alarm clock in there, but nowadays we use the watches and phones. This just has some, um, you know, some medications in there, but no big deal. You can put different things in there. It's not plastic lined or anything like that. Just a basic pocket. Um, and that's it for the outside. It does have this like quick release, not quick release, but you have to pinch it, but, and it's adjustable. So you can clip it in and then you can cinch it way down or when the bag is fuller, there's room to like push up a little bit on it. Anyway, so you take that off. Up here, this has a zipper storage and it's this entire top is a mesh pocket. I usually just keep something soft and flimsy up there. Like there's some scrunchies in there. There's four of them right now. This is all packed for my last trip, which was two weeks in Nevada visiting my aunt over the holidays. So there you go, there's that. And then the top has two zipper pockets. I mean, two zippers, not two zipper pockets. And then the top flap there also folds out and is its own mesh pocket this way. I have hair ties, some barrettes, some, um, I'm just feeling. There's some travel scissors, there's toe clippers or fingernail clippers, and a pair of tweezers. Yeah, so just some minor little things that aren't gonna bulk out the, that top flap. And then inside you can see the bag. I really like this bag a lot because you can have all of your things standing up and they kind of hold each other standing up. When you are using the bigger toiletries, obviously they're laying down. If I'm going on an airplane where the bag's gonna be jostled or I'm changing elevations, I will put things in plastic bags inside of here because the elevation pressure changes make messes. <laughs> yeah, so I do do that. This isn't plastic lined. It is a wipeable nylon, but like I said, if it's been so gooped up, I've taken everything out and actually thrown the whole thing in the washer. No problem. It's just a nylon thing, but it's robust. It's lasted forever. All right. So the reason I wanted to talk about what's in here, because that will dictate, you know, which bag is the next choice by what fits, right? So let's talk about what's in here. Um, we've got not full, but a full size Bath and Body Works. I love the sweet peas. So there's the lotion that goes with it. So we got those full size and they're not the same height, but they fit fine standing up. We got some deodorant, we've got some Olay face cream, we've got some foot cream. This, okay, so this is not my normal thing you'll see as we get to it, but there's my shampoo and there's the conditioner. Yeah. On that trip I think I ran out of stuff and I didn't have the big ones so I just grabbed the little one so these are new from that trip because I ran out but anyway it's shampoo conditioner full size fits fine um, I've got some Bath and um, Body Works the look the label fell off but this is sweet pea body spray and sea island cotton 
Yeah, those are my two favorites. I've got some toothpaste. Not the one I normally use, but sometimes traveling, that's a good one. The Breeze Fabric To Go. That was what I took on my cruise to keep things fresh. There's some hairspray, some razor stuff, toothbrushes, razor, razor, another toothbrush. Oh, I took this because I was using this one to clean my mouth guard. I probably should take that out. I don't need that. There's some more toothpaste. This is from this morning's demo. A brush, a razor, and a travel Venus. I have a magnet that came off with something. A comb, desiccant, a comb. Oh, a gel cap that fell out of something and been sitting in the bottom of my bag. Some more oil of Olay. This is the Regenerous Night. Got some, oh, in the back, two slip pockets, and then there's like three pen slots in the middle. They're not really pen slots, but like, have another tweezers and a little thing in one of those. And <laughs> Q-tips and Q-tips. Oh, this one's empty. Okay, so I'll just put that in there for now. Now, the cool thing about this bag is one, it's cavernous size, but two, it actually, it has a hook. So most of the time you just set it down on the counter. It doesn't have plastic or feet or anything to protect it, it just sits. But it can hang. Now it doesn't hang like this. Inside there's this rope that doesn't get in the way at all. But you just put it behind there, just like that, and then it hangs. And so you can actually get into everything right there. So now I have many of the Vera hanging organizers. I love those. Those are not part of this video. These are like size and shape ones. Um, but I use those all the time too, so I, I do other stuff, but anyway. All right, just to keep it within doable realm, we kind of narrowed the scope. Okay, so this one hangs. The rest of the ones that I'm going to show you do not, so that is one thing. All right, so this is the stuff that we're talking about here. This morning, I just did a Vera haul video where we showed the new reactive large travel case in Sunny Garden, which is a very comparable size. It's slightly smaller than the Tatanka, but as you can see, it's pretty comparable. And it does have more, oh Lord, put this thing here, move this over. All right. So very comparable, but let's talk real quick about some of the accessories. First we have the razor case. I decided that yes, I'm definitely keeping this. I definitely will use this. You can use it for these kinds of razors, but unless I'm on a really long trip, I don't need to take that many different ones. Um, so I would take these normally on my, my long cruise. It was 60 days essentially. And so I took several loose razors and this with multiple replacements. But for today, let's put some of the excess aside and we'll use it for my primary travel razor. So we'll put that in, we'll put two replacements in. That's easily, we don't say how long because I don't shave my legs unless I need to, because why, yeah. But it is summer, so it's almost, you know, every other day or whatever. It doesn't grow fast. So this doesn't take a lot of extra space, but it collects things together. That definitely goes in the bag. And we'll put it aside. Then, um, we have this toothbrush thing. I think that honestly, these items fit perfectly in the bag laying down and putting them in here takes more room. It does give you an extra layer of protection for things, but there's not really anything that's gonna get in the way and it has never in decades been a problem. So I don't think I'm gonna use this for this purpose. This will go somewhere else for something else. Not today. Okay, so that will stay in the loose pile. And then the other piece that I got was this clear tech case. And I decided this day and age, this is a perfect pouch, shape and size to hold my cotton cloth masks, right? Um, so in here right now, I have four Vera ones and four not Vera ones. 
Um, but yeah, face masks. So these are the ones that I'm not using. I have them in my purse and in my truck and I bought them all over. But, but these are just ones that are all folded up and I can just grab. This would fit a lot more than eight. But right now eight is easy. And that's what I have mask wise to put in there. So these are great. And I think this is now my mask storage container. It was in a fancy storage <laughs> Ziploc with some other masks that have their own bags, but now it's, yeah. Anyway, that that's out of the mix. So that leaves us with this. One reason I did like masks and other things is because if you put all these pieces inside the bag, that alone takes up the whole bag. So there's not room for other toiletries. It's not very useful that way. But this piece definitely will be used just like that. I suppose this might be a great piece for extra razors on those longer trips because um, it would help keep those little plastic safety guards on there and you could still stack the extra razor blades in there. So actually, that might be what I do with that. Okay, so it's back in, in the mix. Okay, so in here, let's see if all this stuff fits in here. I'm not gonna do a bunch of like individual pockets. I'm just gonna stuff stuff right back in here very quickly and see if it can stand it can stand everything's fine this is definitely a smaller bag than the other not as tall so unfortunately that is out at least in a vertical that will still work let me just rearrange things a little so it can be yeah, it has to be in the middle because it's too tall. And let's see what else we got here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, keep the desk pins. I can stay over here. So all the loose stuff. The toothbrush fit here. Ooh, it does. Well, this one. Yep. And toothpaste. Okay, that fixes that. Perfect. Okay, so this will work. We've got actually two combs and a brush, and we'll just put those back in the loose stack here. And we've got our razors. Yep. And then I won't do the transfer of the little stuff. Obviously, that would fit here. And there's still open pockets on the side, but we didn't get two items in. So soap and conditioner. That is okay, and I'll tell you why in a moment. But the point is, this will work, and if this works, it all works there, so yay. I'm not gonna do a whole big transfer, retransfer, retransfer, but let's look at a couple other options. First of all, this is my like longer trip. Like I would say a week or more, or anytime I want like my full toiletry stuff. But if I'm going, for example, carry-on toiletries, I might take a bigger thing for the long trip, but maybe I have an international or multi-day flight where I'm gonna have to have an overnight stop somewhere, or I wanna refresh after I get to the airport before I even get a chance to shower, then I will take this. This is also great for cruising because you have um, like, like that first, not the first night, you really get your stuff there. But if you wanna get on board and wash up a little bit before you go around the ship, or if you want to, the last night you put your luggage out the day before you leave and then you still need a shower in the morning. So this is another great, just a carry on thing. This fits a 311, this is what I use for 311, but you can see it's way more stuff in it than I could possibly need. This really, honestly, would last me a week or more. It has body spray, hand sanitizer, it's got wet wipes, alcohol wipes, toothpaste, toothbrush, comb, shampoo, lotion, it's got a migraine med, it's got deodorant, uh, yeah. And there's a travel razor in there, um, in blue instead of pink, yeah. And dental floss. It has everything, everything, Q-tips, everything you can need. So I just leave it packed. And if I'm going just for a quick overnight and I don't need like fancy stuff, I'll just grab this and go. Um, or even less than this. Anyway, so not to ramble. Um, but so that's my quick or short trip stuff. 
And this is not Veer, this is not, I don't even know the brand is nothing. I got it as part of a little cosmetic case set like forever ago. I'm a pack rat, I don't throw anything away. But the reason this and the lug trolleys will work is just a reconfiguration of Toys R Us. These are, this is my fancy storage for these. Not anymore, because we're about to redistribute, but here's, here's what we got. So over the years, you learn what works for you and what doesn't. So here's some things that work. Um, one, I really love these, and you can get them at the container store. Vera even has had some um, over time. I didn't get the Vera ones because it already was well stocked, but they even come in different colors. They're silicone. They hold quite a little bit. You can easily get a week or two of um, stuff out of it, depending on what you're putting. So I have a blue one. A green one and an orange one and a whole bunch of white ones you can see they've all been washed and cleaned out for now because I didn't use them on my last trip but that guy right in, in <laughs> Sharpie right on the side shampoo and conditioner on the things so or a C and an S um, yeah whatever you need to do to separate it okay so let's talk about these for a second these are great um, I can color code them look at them Long hair is these are like magnetic to hair every hair in my toiletry bag and in my house um sweet pea <laughs> sea island cotton and this was actually like a, a cucumber melon but you could use it for whatever so i did three different lotions on a long trip and the variety is nice but also gives you um longevity so that's you know that's a lot of lotion that you can take in three little things and you can stack these things up. So let's start stacking. Here is my trolley. Yay, log. Uh, and it has a mesh pocket on the top. We're not gonna get that, but the inside is just plastic lined. So we'll see how these fit in there and how many fit so we can decide. But for now, it's gonna be the storage case. So we got three colored ones on this end. They fit about two across this way. So we have two, four, seven of them that are empty right here. So these are all just empty. So trolley empty storage right now. So this easily holds two, four, six, eight, ten. And, excuse me, I was drinking bubbly water. So there's ten and, you know, just so without squishing them, they, they easily stack perfectly. Which means that if I could take shampoo, conditioner, lotion, sunscreen, soap, you know, more lotion, <laughs> you know, you can have a lot of different things in there and they're gonna be perfect, perfect height, which then goes to the next thing. So we've got Q-tips. I'm just gonna put those in an end pocket. Because those are spare Q-tips. We've got deodorant, little travel size deodorant. That can go over in the other side. And then what do we have? Another toothbrush. That probably can go in, oh, it has a little case on it. We'll put that in the 311 extra. I don't want, this holds a lot. And it's a screw-on cap, but it's hard to get the stuff out of the end. So put that aside. This one. Oh, that's hand sanitizer. I'll leave that out. Conditioner. Lotion. Silly things I have in my bag. Okay, so body wash. Body wash. These are Bath and Body Works, my two cents again. These are great size. I mean, I just keep refilling them from the big bottles when I travel. So we'll just put those in here for storage. And then we have the newer variety with the different caps, but same idea. We'll put those in here for storage. Those fit all four across, actually. And then we have the lotions. So you can do these or you can do these bottles. Obviously the last time I used them, I took these. But we'll put those in there. So, all my travel storage for the non-used items right now, and this body wash can go somewhere else. Perfect. And then I still have pocket on the back and is there anything in here? Nope. Lots of pockets, oh. Where's that extra razor? Let's see. Yeah, it fits there. And it will zip. 
fits in the back. Mm, it won't zip. Okay. So that is, I think, the plan is I'll use this one for storage right now for the stuff I'm not using because it's perfect. Just like that. This one, all this stuff is going to go back in my current one. The travel items, let's see. Obviously, I need to scrub this out, but for now, let's put the extra stuff in here <laughs> because it fits. I have drawers and drawers of like hotel stuff, and I always bring it back and donate it to charity because whatever. But this is some of the stuff I had on hand, but <laughs> it's still, still good. Okay, yeah, that's it for this one. So I do have the mini trolley. This I didn't include in like the pack and restack because obviously capacity wise, it's not gonna hold nearly as much, but I think this will be perfect for actually in bag, um, like daily organizer. So once I get all the rest of my stuff in, we will talk more about lug organization and Vera organization, but yeah, that was kind of fun. I don't know if that's helpful for you. It is helpful for me just to see what fits where. So I just thought I'd share the thrash with you and hopefully you find it useful to see which items size wise. Anyway. Okay, so I took a time out and figured some things and now let's wrap this up. This bag, the Sunny Garden Reactive Large Travel Cosmetic from Vera. I really don't like the color, the pattern. It's not quite big enough for what I want it for. It might be good for something else. For the moment, I took everything out of it and I'm setting it aside for a to be determined, return, gift, or sell, uh, or repurpose. It's got potential, uh, we'll see. Um, this bag, my Tatanka, I took everything and put back in here because it's just such a great fit for me and I don't even have to use the little stuff unless I want to transition. So what I've done is I've got the extra razors. I'll just leave them just like this and put them in here. They go really nicely on, on the conditioner side. I will take the razors, put those in here as well. And you can see everything still just fits and there's room for more, but it's not overcrowded, nothing's wonky. It's, it's actually really great. So. We'll leave that for now. Let me actually switch this. I think it'll fit better on that side. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that is packed and daily ready. Couple things I thought on this as well. So we still had this case left over. It does fit on the one end and it will zip up nicely right inside there. So we're just gonna keep it there. On this end, I had put the, the extra travel deodorant and I had this leftover bottle that I hadn't done anything with. So I'll just put those inside because there's still room actually. And it's not going to really bulk this out. So you can see it's still very, very nicely stowed. And then we'll just close this up. There's not tension on it or anything. I mean, it's, it's good. And then I went ahead and refilled the extra Q-tip thing because it's always good just to grab that and go when your other one gets empty between trips and whatnot. So now that the end pocket's open, we'll just put that in there and all set. So we have the extra travel items all in one place, very nicely organized and a perfect fit for my trolley in Riverwalk Navy. I've got my Tatanka packed and ready for whatever next trip is coming. And my mini trolley, some people, and I forgot to mention this, um, have been saying that they like to use this as a bedside bag. I think that's a great, great idea. I have the Cinda B car organizer that I hang over the corner of my headboard, and that is actually my bedside thing. So that is actually working very nicely for me. Um, also in Heather Gray, ironically, but, this will still remain uh, another option for something else. And then this, the short trip, car trip, you know, just a couple nights, whatever, is still packed and ready. So we are all set. So I'll just insert this piece of the video in between 
and then we'll close it out at the end. So thanks for watching. Take care. Washi washi. Bye for now.